Well, you're finally awake. It took you long enough. I've been awake all night. I couldn't sleep. What was your reason to wake up? Hmm, bad dream. I know, I, uh, I usually get bad dreams all the time. I don't really like to talk about my problems, though. You don't really care anyway. <laughs> That's a funny joke. But it, really, no one cares about me. Not a single person in this world. I only call my friends acquaintances. The people I work with are not my friends. They're just people I work with. Co-workers, to be exact. Nothing more, nothing less. You are a co-worker. Toga's a co-worker. Shigaraki's a co-worker. All of them are not my friends. And what makes you think that you're my friend? Please tell me. I would love to hear this. I get saved by a lot of people. So what? Listen. My wounds open up when I show emotion. You really think I'm gonna stand that low and show my actual emotions? The people I barely even know, or even know their actual names. No. I'm a loner in this world, and so is everybody around me. They don't give two shits about you, me, or even the person sitting next to them. Everyone lives to die. Alright. I said I don't want to talk about my feelings. Get the hint. For a person I have to share a bed with, you're really getting on my nerves. Don't be surprised if I kick you off the bed tonight. Alright, alright. If it'll get you off my ass, I'll open up a bit. How do I feel? <laughs> like a piece of shit. Well, in all 
honestly. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the way I was treated when I was younger. Cast away by my own father, my own family. They saw me nothing but a monster. My father thought of me as a failed experiment because all he wants to do is get a child with a perfect quirk and get them to his level of power. And I guess I wasn't enough for him. Even though I think my flames are a bit hotter than his. Hmm? Well, every time I use my quirk, it, it incinerates people. I don't think my flame would be cold to the touch. I mean, look at my body. It's all burnt. Nothing but dead skin staples. Because every time I use my quirk... Well, let me boy more specific. The more I use my quirk, the more I overclock it, the more my skin starts to burn. It's like a nasty scab. And so I have to staple my skin back onto my body. Oh, you got a point. Burn marks are usually more red than it is purple. Huh. Maybe I am just as cold-hearted as my father. It shows off in my quirk. <sighs> oh, through constant pain and suffering, I ended up just going to the dark side. Choosing this life for myself. Something I'm proud of. Something I really wanted to do. I didn't want to be a hero. I've always been born to be the villain. Born to be the monster. Well, lucky for me, I got where I am today. And where I am today is successful. I have a place to sleep. I have money in my pockets. I have food in my stomach. I have clothes on my back. I have a roof over my head. Of course, I share it with a few people, sure. But at least I'm okay. Physically. Mentally. I still need to work on that. But, nonetheless, hey, thank you. I could see you were actually listening to me, even though I wasn't looking at you that whole time. I'm blabbering out about myself. I could tell you were actually caring. So, consider it my gratitude towards you. As I say, thank you. Okay. It's kind of late. We should probably lay back down 
and get some sleep. We do have a few missions we have to do in the morning before the heroes even wake up. So, let me go get something to drink before I do go back into bed. You just lay back down. I'll be right back. <coughs> Damn. And here I thought I was alone in this world. And it turns out, even villains can have friends. <laughs> <laughs>